Hey everybody, haven't posted on this channel in a while. Um, ever since it got flagged because of the whole period blood video. Uh, which I don't regret making. You know, it's an important point that needed to be made. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be really kind of stuffy and coffee in this video. I've been feeling like shit all week. I was coming down with something when I made my video to you, James. Um, so the, this this can't just be man flu. I think I've got something a, a little bit more permanent. It's probably probably death. I think I'm I think I'm dying, but you know, that's never stopped me before. I've wrestled with the angel of death before. She was a harsh mistress, but I I overcame her. Um, anyway, um, I have an idea for a movie, and it's it's this is dead serious. This is this is the greatest movie idea that has ever been conceived by me. So just think about that. So basically, in the same way Star Wars, the Emperor, he was Hitler. He 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 was a, he was supposed to represent Hitler. You know, he abused the emergency powers, established a, a military dictatorship, etc. <clears throat> He's meant to represent Hitler. And so this mo this movie that I'm representing, it could be it it, it could be set um, you know, during, you know, World War Two or, you know, the 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 nineteen thirties in Germany and feature a character known as Hitler. Or we could move it to some kind of futuristic dictatorship and just have common themes with Hitler, right? So it doesn't have to be Hitler. It you know, we could just move it to the future. Okay. Um so I'm gonna talk about it like it's it's the future. But, you know, if there are any directors watching this and they think no, we should just go for Hitler, um then totally, yeah, I, I can do that, I'm flexible, I'll just change a few words in the in the script. Um, where is my script? Oh, shit. Oh, I, I wrote some notes here, but... Or whatever, but, it's, but it's, anyway, I'll, I'll come up off the top of my head. <clears throat> so, it's the future, it's like the year 20, 20, 100, let's look, yeah, 20. It's the year 2100, okay? So it's, you know, 88 years from now. Yep. And uh, for the past 20 years, right, so that's 2080, there has been a terrible military dictatorship, right? Um, and, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll call this guy Hitler, right, just just so we, we stay on track. But obviously in the film he won't be called Hitler, he'll be called something something worse. In fact, he could be black, and that would really revolutionise things, wouldn't it? It'd be like... It'd be like Coney. It would kind of cash in with the whole Coney franchise, um, and and then people will be like, oh, "See, can't be about Hitler." So it's not a cheap shot, you know. It's not taking advantage of a tragedy, so they wouldn't piss off the Jewish media. Um, but basically, there's an ethical question that people ask. <clears throat> they often ask it, and it's um, you know, if you could go back in time and kill Hitler as a child, uh, would you do it? Personally, I, if I had the choice, I would rather just take Hitler as a kid away and try and, like, you know, adopt him, raise him to be a nice guy, just keep him out of the same environment. Because, you know, I, I don't think a baby is, is inherently evil. I don't think a baby is destined to be evil. There's environmental factors in there, you know. You know, we can talk about aggressive temperaments and stuff, but, I, I mean, come on, Hitler, Hitler wasn't inevitably going to, you know, kill a bunch of Jews. So, the real extension of the question, would you go back in time and kill Hitler as a kid, is, would Hitler go back in time and kill Hitler when he's a little bit older? Right? So, if I could go back in time and meet, you know, 20-year-old Hitler, or 15-year-old or Hitler, let's say, and I showed him the future that he was going to create, would I be able to get him to kill himself? That's the question. Would he do it? Um, so this movie is going to be kind of based on that theme, uh, and it's you know it's really really deep, and you know you'll be like, oh man, I've got to be less judgmental. So basically, this military dictatorship then um, is is head is run by the same like Hitler esque character, and there's a team of rebels, right? Kind of like the Terminator rebels. This this team of rebels have basically um, created a time machine. Right, um, the time machine it can only be used, you know, once or twice. They've been developing time travel technology, but it, you know, it, it takes up a lot of energy crystals, you know, whatever. So, you know, if the mission fucks up, um, 
they can't do it again. Like they're out of energy crystals or whatever. So you know, if if he messes up the mission, he can't just go. Oh, well, I'll go back in time again and sort that out. Okay, it's only a one-time thing. So this mission is really, really deadly serious. So the main character, we'll call him Logan. Call him Logan. He's sent back in time uh, to kill Hitler as a kid, right? Um, he's a bit of a softy, and he has an ethical objection to killing the kid. And he, he's he's he he didn't want to kill Hitler as a kid. He wanted to kill Hitler as an adult, but unfortunately. All they could do was send them back to the the period where Hitler was a child for some reason. I don't know. There's something wrong with the calibrations with the time machine. I don't know. There'll be there'll be some some lines that will just sort that out. So the guy goes back in time, gets his time knife, right? Because the past is kind of like, um, no, that, no, scrap that. He has this time knife, right? Which is kind of like hologram looking. I don't know. And if you use that to kill, um somebody in the past, then it will actually delete them from history, right? Um, so, he gets this knife, right, and he's about to fucking stab the baby, but uh, he hesitates and he can't do it. And then when his, when his team hear him hesitating, they go, Logan, what the hell's the matter with you? Do it! Kill the kid! And he goes renegade. He goes renegade from the team of rebels, right? And his friends become his enemies, and then he opens up a new portal and moves to another period in history with this kid Hitler in his hand. In fact, it won't be a baby Hitler, it'll be a kid Hitler, like 10 or something. And then, you know, there are a bunch of action scenes and stuff. I, I, don't, I don't really have the middle, of the, scene, the middle of the film planned out, but I have the beginning and ending and the kind of plot-ish. And eventually, um, the, he convinces the kid, um, or, the, or the kid convinces him, rather, to, uh, instead of killing Hitler, uh, you know, himself, they should just take out the other Nazi uh, leaders. So they go after Goebbels. They kill Goebbels. Doesn't work. Still happens. They kill Goering. Still happens, etc. They kill Hess. Still happens. Uh, eventually, they realise that they have to kill Hitler. And um, you know, there'll be there'll be like an action scene where he gets confronted by his own like time team, and they're like, "You got one more chance, Buster." And um, his black friend. His black friend with a cigar, who's like, you know, the chief, um, he gives him one more chance. So he is a bit of a hard ass, and he's like, you've got 24 hours before we're pulling you out of there. And so, no, you've got one hour before we're pulling you out of there. So then he zooms to uh, a random period in history, because, I don't know, his time machine thing is broken. Yeah, it's on his arm. It's like an, like the Omni tool out of Mass Effect. Um, and they eventually they, they come to some kind of like podium, kind of like the Nuremberg rallies, but obviously a little bit more discreet. So let's think of a balcony, and then they're inside a room here, and then there's a balcony and there's a crowd. And the, uh, the, the, the initial plan is to kill uh, the future Hitler. But this, this sort of teenage, because uh, he, he grows up as the story progresses, uh, this this teenage Hitler now, who's you know, is kind of more pure of hearts because he's not been through the same thing as as the the evil Hitler. Um, he uh, he says, well, what if I just reason with myself? What if I appeal to my future self and say, you know, is this what Mum would have wanted? Is this what the girl you loved at you know high school or you know would have wanted? Um, uh, and so he he, he tries that. Um, but then, like, you know, a bunch of, SS, you know, they're not the SS, but they're the future equivalents. They, but you know, the stormtroopers, whatever. You know, they burst in as a big gunfight or whatever. Uh, Logan, he gets shot. Uh, and so, like, he can't, if, if he dies in the past, um, then, you know, there's, there's nothing that, you know, if, if, if he passes out in the past, like, from the bleeding, there's nothing people can do. They can't resuscitate him, so he's screwed. So he has to go back to his own time to uh, get the medication and stuff. Um... And the uh, the kid Hitler, you know, he's still trying to appeal to the future Hitler, but the future Hitler is just so evil, and he doesn't listen. And so the future Hitler um, eventually has and ends up having a fisticuff like fight with his kid Hitler, and then tragically, kid Hitler, ooh, in the, in a fight, gets the the time knife jabbed in his guts. Right, turns out that um, if you kill your past self then the future self disappears right 
Um, but th th here's, the, here's the tragic moment because for Hitler, the evil Hitler doesn't believe, right? He doesn't he doesn't believe that he's talking to his past self and stuff. He thinks you know he's just somebody who's found a, found his family history and is trying to play pranks on him, right? He thinks like this these guys are just the rebels or something. And then, um, as the kid Hitler's like uh, 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 dying, uh, they kind of look into each other's eyes, and then Hitler notices and he says something like, um, you know you have uh, your mother's eyes and then and then the guy's like at my father's nose and then um, the music you know some sad music will play it will kind of go into slow motion you'll see his pupils dilate because he's dying and it'll be like Whoa! kind of like um, uh, kind of like the Lord of the Rings music when Arwen and Aragorn are kissing that kind of music I've got this planned guys right uh, so then the, the kid Hitler's dying and finally, this evil Hitler believes him, realizes what he's done, realizes that you know not only has he killed his past self, but he's um, he's betrayed himself, so to speak. He's he's betrayed who he used to be, and he's he's betrayed the ideals he once had. And uh, and then Hitler uh, turns to Logan, and Logan's like, "You got to set it right, man. You got to tell the people." Um, and, you know, Logan eventually, out of desperation, he has to just zip through the portal again. He has to go back, so we don't really know what happens to Logan. But then Hitler, like, he, he starts walking towards the, uh, the banister where he's going to address the crowd. And he starts disappearing, like, bits of him start floating away, like he's disappearing from time. Kind of like, I, I imagine that this, come on guys, I imagine that this would look like X-Men 3 when, you know, the phoenix is making people deteriorate, like just matter kind of just evaporates and like it's almost a mist, it just disappears off them. And he's he's going up to the banister and he's trying to speak and it's kind of like a um Charlie Chaplin the the you know, the, the, the the dictator speech where, you know, he 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 completely just gives this speech that blows the crowd away. Um but here's the real kicker. Um the camera starts zooming away as he as he um, stands on the balcony, and you can see like bits of him disappearing and stuff. And but but then as that happens, as he's starting to look like he's really really about to disappear, a newspaper uh, blows in the wind, right, and that hits the camera, right, and so the wind blocks out the sound, and the newspaper blocks out the vision, so we don't see if he ever does, uh, you know, give his um, give his you know epiphany to the world. And so it's like a cliffhanger ending. Um, so that's you know a brilliant film, and uh, I've copywritten this. Um, I'm against intellectual property um, unless it suits me, but I have copywritten this. Uh, I, I mean, you know, people can't draw full circles, but I, I give it a pretty good shot. So that's me. That's me doing it right now, copywriting it. Um, so if you guys want this film, uh, if you guys want to make this film, you have to pay me the money now or sometime in the future, whenever suits you, and, you know, we'll get we'll get this sword. Um, I think it's the kind of movie that Michael Bay would direct, but I don't want Michael Bay to direct it, so Michael Bay, fuck off, please, get some better. I don't, I just, you, you know, you do have some good ideas for movies, but you just ruin them. You make, you make them suck. So stop, please. Um, you know, the only enjoyable video you've ever really made has been The Rock, and, you know, that had Sean Connery in it. Nicholas Cage, so they were the, really the redeeming features, and it also had Dr. Cox from Scrubs, if you look carefully. Um, and also, just one more thing about this film: there could be a sequel, possibly, about how um, you know this is assuming that he did give the speech. Where actually, uh, and th this is only assuming if we really do literally have it about Hitler now, not this future dictator. But now, um, because Hitler, you know, stood down. What happens is the Cold War turns out completely different, and uh, Stalin or well, Russia doesn't waste most of its resources, and the Cold War is far more evenly matched. And so, instead of the Nazi dictatorship, we have a worldwide uh, Stalinist dictatorship. So now they have to go back in time and undo it and kill Stalin instead, or something like that. So you know, there's just so much you can do with it. So <clears throat> yeah, hit me up, send me a PM or whatever, or just you know, find me.